Hi there, this is Hans Forschner with Napkin Engineering Network. This video discusses some of the advanced features in the Soundline Graphics module. This video is for educational purposes only. Please be aware that some of the sections may change over time as Soundplan releases updates or new versions. In this video, I'd like to highlight some, the Soundplan Graphics Sheet Manager and Sheet Components. The principal function of the Sheet Manager is to show all the existing sheets in the project. So let me turn on the Sheet Manager. The Sheet Manager you find up here on the File Sheet Manager, all with the function key F5. The program, the graphics, looks through the project and finds, in this case, uh, somewhere around uh, 20 sheets that have different information on it. Uh, you can see the uh, naming convention that I use uh, for the sheets uh, defines a certain order in terms of the uh, sequencing. And the current sheet that is currently showing is the construction noise model, sheet number 6A. We can move a sheet into the editor here by dragging the sheet from the left to the center and the program reloads the sheet. Other things we can do here on the uh, when the sheet manager is open we can uh, if you look at this uh, file name here 66i construction noise with barrier spectral and all that uh, there is a space missing, so I can go to that and right-click and rename that sheet and add a space here, for example. If the uh, overall uh, length of the, the sheet name is getting too long, you can may also decide to rename and just remove, just call it construction with barrier, and then here construction with barrier and so on. So you can update the naming of uh, the sheets that you have here. All right. We can also delete sheets and we can also duplicate sheets. So we can have, we can go on a sheet and duplicate the sheet. And then we have a second sheet with a, an additional one at the end. So this sheet got duplicated and we can also delete that sheet. So we click on that and delete. And it will delete all the marked sheets. So anything that is selected, in this case it's only one, gets deleted. Yes. And then program after deleting, it will re-generate uh, the sheet manager and uh, find which sheets are in the project and updates that list. Now. If we have a bunch of uh, sheets here, uh, one of the interesting things for generating reports is uh, to have all of those sheets available in a JPEG format. So here we have the option to highlight, for example, all the sheets by clicking on that and um, using the shift on your keyboard, we can highlight all the sheets or just a certain section of the sheets. And then here we can print. That will print automatically all of those sheets in a uh, batch processing. And we click this icon right here with the disk and the dots. And this will open up an export prompt. Here we can select to export all of the sheets as bitmap. If we do that, we have the chance to define the folder name or a directory name of where all the sheets will go. So we can put in, for example, uh, maps, um, today's date, 09-16-2022, and click OK. We can do also the same thing in terms of meta files. We can export contour lines, limit lines, and other grid map, grid operations, and other result files. So let me uh, go through this here. First of all, I'll click OK. 
then it will ask me on the resolution what type of type so there will additional information required I click on the check mark and it shows at the bottom left corner the progress of the exporting of all the files other options that we have here with the uh, the sheet manager is that if we select for example in this case the scale right here we can apply this scale or this element information to other sheets so here we have other sheets that have the same scaling uh, using the same scaling and this one here so let me open that this 6d for example so this has the same scaling actually it doesn't it looks like here we go all the way also below 40 decibels so let me reload this uh, other map so here we can select this one and we can apply that to this map and to apply that we use this little arrow here will which will copy the sheet property that we've just highlighted in this case the scale we can highlight that and apply that to this sheet here so if I click on this uh, arrow, it applies that. It will ask, what do you want to apply there? We can say the content, the scale content, the font with other font settings, and then also only if it applies to the same name of the scale. So we I want to uncheck that. I don't know if the name is changing. Same properties, which basically is the outline, the, the background color and all that and then also position and size if possible. So I'll, I'll leave this position and size off and I'll just click OK. And now this sheet got changed. In the sheet manager, it will be bold. So that means there is a change right here. We can save the change. So now it's the, the change is now successful. And now we can uh, again pull that in and see if the color change or the color scale got changed to what we have in this sheet. And then you can see that now all the colors below 40 dB are basically eliminated for all the maps here. We can do this also for other uh, elements. So let me go back. So here, uh, remember here we have uh, gray outline color buildings and here are some turquoise so let me pull this in and here we have a different gray but let me change the map object types and change it to a uh, darker color auxiliary buildings I'll change it to a uh, lighter brown and with edges uh, black that's fine apply click OK so here we have a significant change and again so here we can highlight this and then we can apply that to this uh, sheet that has four maps so I'll click on the arrow so I highlight it to this map we can actually highlight it to multiple maps if we like so let me uh, do it with a second map here too and apply that now here we can say in this case for this map we can uh, apply it for the properties the geometry viewport which could be a really nice feature and then object types and then here we also update any legend text changes that are result because we are using a different object uh, types from this map and applying it to the other maps so i'll click ok here again this got uh, transferred for these maps in these two sheets I'll make the change I save it and now I can uh, again load one of the maps all right we want to save these changes yes and now we can see that all of the maps should have a different color coding for the buildings so this can be extremely powerful in terms of making uh, the maps consistent I experience it all the time when I create a report. I uh, have 10, 10 maps and then I decide, well, maybe I should change the highlighting of the buildings or the background of this or that object differently. 
and now I have to apply that for all of the maps. So this is a very quick and easy way to recenter all the maps, to change all the color coding and so forth. So it's uh, quite a powerful functionality of this uh, sheet manager. Uh, you can also make the changes the other way around. So we can open up any of the maps or elements from other sheets. So if you already applied a certain uh, change to a sheet and you want to apply it to uh, whatever map you have currently open, uh, we can select, the, let's say, a text box. In this case, this is, uh, uh, let's see, we can maybe uh, look at the, the title here and then we can assign that to this title and uh, we can again use, in this case, it's the, not this error, we are using this error right here and this will apply whatever element that we have from one map to another map. All right, map, we have the textbook warehouse and here we can just apply that by moving it over here. Insert, okay. And then here we can apply that and change it and put it in there. Okay. All right, so again, these arrows, uh, pulling a sheet element from the existing, existing sheet, and we can apply it to other sheets that we have already available or other way around, we have something from a different sheet and we can drag it into the current sheet. So this is all about the sheet manager. And then of course we have the sheet components. The sheet components basically open up and visualize for a specific sheet, what are the components that we have. So here for this map, or for this sheet here, we have a overall map here we have a north arrow, we have the scale, we have the model description here, and the text box warehouse right here. That's the one thing that we just added. Then we have a sheet legend here on the right hand side, which includes a uh, title. So we can call it title. Uh, the scale and a map, map legend. Okay, let me open up uh, this map number 6G, for example, and we move that in. So this is a map with the spectral information and third octaves, so third octave uh, data here. And uh, let me go into the sheet components. So here we can see the list of the different maps. So we have nine maps and we have a sheet legend here on the right hand side. Um, looks like uh, the legend got uh, the actual legend got uh, a little bit updated here. So let me reduce this and open this up, and I'll remove some of the information that is not really relevant for for these maps. All right, and then we update the sequence. We put the receiver maybe in a different sequence. All right, all right. So we just dragged in a different view and um, we can adapt the box. So here we have our new box. So here we have these night maps. And again, we can, uh, if we want to change the, uh, the display uh, here on all of those, uh, you can change that. For example, on this one, don't show the lowest interval. So now it doesn't show any of the intervals. We can save this. Yes. And then we can also apply that to the other sheet that also has nine maps. So here is the other map. And so we can highlight that. Um, this map. And uh, so in this case, we can uh, move that in here. And we can uh, select this map and use the other map to overwrite this one here, for example. We can change the content. Again, 
content and properties and it updates that and now in this case we just need to update and refresh all the maps and now it updates it to not showing the 20 um, levels below 20 decimals. Here again this is the same with the legend so we can also do the same thing with the legend and I update that content and uh, position and size and it updates that all right so we have it now all similar to the same extent so that concludes my uh, video on the advanced graphics with the sheet components and the sheet manager uh, thank you for listening have a great day bye for now